new candle. It smells incredible. Welcome back to another video, gentlemen. What I want to talk about today is avoiding negative people. You know what I'm talking about? People that come up with problems for every solution. People that are always looking for ways as to why things are never going to work out. You can just feel the negative energy bounce off of their bodies. You tell them, hey man, I'm looking to pursue this clothing line. No, don't do that. They're risky, they're this, they're that. And then they just list out reasons and you just, you're just like, I wish I never fucking told you. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know one or two people in your life like that. They could be a family member, friend, right? Always looking for negatives. And it just drains you. You want people in your life that when you say things to them, they may give you some advice, but they're always looking to do what's in your best interest. So if you tell them I'm passionate about doing this, they'll be like, hey man, pursue it. You know, watch out for this and that, but you know what, it's a great idea. And I think you especially would be great for this. People that are, are gonna acknowledge your qualities and share your dreams on. Now listen, I know some of you might say, well, what if the idea is crap? Well, then they'll give you constructive advice, right? But they'll also suggest alternatives and they'll, they'll look for the good right but then there are others that are just straight up negative straight up you tell you tell your good news to them and they just you can just see it on their face they lack any sort of expression you know jordan peterson says look for friends that celebrate with you when you tell them your good news you know they're like, oh man that's amazing that's terrific congrats on the new job congrats on this you know and it doesn't have to be about pursuing anything financially or a career, it could also be relationships. You know, you don't want people that bring up your past when you, when you tell them about meeting someone new. They're like, oh, didn't this work, not work out for you in the past? You know, you're the kind of person that, it's like, motherfucker, just, you know, like, be happy for me for once. Negative people drain the shit out of you. And there's a law in the 48 Laws of Power, Law 10, which says, avoid the unhappy and, and unlucky. And this is what it says, you can die from someone else's misery. Emotional states are as infectious as diseases. You may feel you are helping the drowning man, but you are only precipitating your own disaster. The unfortunate sometimes draw misfortune on themselves. They will also draw it onto you. And I just love that, and that's so true. As I said earlier, you can almost feel the bad vibes. Just entering your body when you're speaking to a negative person and you know you, I'm sure you guys know at the end of the conversation you almost take a deep breath you're like oh, fucking hell well that was worth it wasn't it sarcastically because you, you burnt out from the conversation you know you get you got into the conversation excited to tell this person hey you know got this going on I'm planning on doing this hey and at the end of it you're like fucking hell that's a great way to deflate my enthusiasm for what I've just told you. And there's a great quote, I don't know who it's from, but it says, if you can't change your friends, change your friends. I'm gonna say that again for you, I don't think you caught that. If you can't change your friends, change your friends. You want people around you who are gonna cheer your dreams on. People around you that are gonna be fair with their advice. Not heavily towards one side, but fair. They look out for you, but they also want to see you succeed in the things that you're passionate about. You know when your eyes light up and you're like, yeah, I love this, I'm doing this. They're like, wow, you know what? He's clearly so enthusiastic, I'm gonna cheer him on. I might give him advice and be like, hey, be careful with this and this, but that's what he wants to do. And I'm gonna show interest in my friend's ambitions and my friend's dreams, you know? Not tell them, hey, no, 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 no. Because oftentimes when they say that to you, they are envious of your potential, All right? They know that you could actually pull this off. You could go out there and actually create a successful business and they don't wanna feel left behind. And this also happens in relationships, more when it comes to women, but it also happens with dudes, right? When they start seeing you happy with a, a new girl that you've met, they're single, miserable. They don't have anyone in their life. And so they will try and create problems out of thin air or create doubt and then imprint that doubt into your mind. 
they'll say, hey, you know, is that what she's done? And like I said, this happens more towards women. When it comes to women, you know, they're like, oh, no. oh, really? Oh, this and that. And because they're envious of that girl, they will manufacture doubt and implant it into the girl's head to make the girl think, you know what? Yeah, maybe, maybe that's actually quite bad. Maybe I shouldn't be in this relationship. But it also happens with dudes. You know, you've got other dudes that are unhappy, that are single, and instead of, you know, being happy for you, and that you found someone that, you know, you enjoy being with, and someone who, you know, is compatible with you, they're miserable. And so they'll be like, hey, no, no, I wouldn't tolerate that. Over some petty shit. And like I said, that's why you need someone who's fair. Someone that's gonna be defending, you know, your partner in most cases. And be like, no, no, she didn't mean it that way. I'm sure she was just trying to, you know, people that are looking for reasons for you to continue working this out, rather than people that are just trying to instigate drama and people that are trying to separate two people from each other, right? And so be careful of people that are negative and unhappy. Once again, there is tolerable doubt you know, you could be like, not every business model is going to work. And so in some cases you can doubt certain things and be like, you know what? This might not be the greatest way of pursuing this venture. But like I said, people that are fair are going to give you alternatives or they're going to suggest things to you that you can take a look at. They're not going to be like, oh no, you're, that, you're shit. You know, this idea is shit. They're not going to make you feel bad for wanting to pursue it in the first place. Okay, so avoid the unhappy and the negative hope the video helps you guys if you like it make sure you like and subscribe down below and i'll catch you with the next one peace